Theresa May just claims that it does not pay to be just. Just behavior works to the advantage of other people, not to the person who behaves justly. Hello everyone, this is Polomi Dash and you're watching English Literature with Polomi. In today's video, we are going to cover literary criticism and in literary criticism, we are going to discuss about Plato's The Republic. Do watch the video till the end to know about this very important topic and don't forget to subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon to get notifications every time I post a video. Plato's The Republic is a Socratic dialogue authored by Plato around 375 BC. It is Plato's best known work and has proven to be one of the most influential works of philosophy and political science. Plato in The Republic gives a prominence to the idea of justice. Plato was highly dissatisfied with the degeneration of Athens. So, through the Republic, Plato tries to put on a theory of an ideal society in which justice reigns supreme. In the Republic, Plato, speaking through his teacher Socrates, sets out to answer two questions. What is justice and why should we be just? When Book 1 opens, Socrates is returning home from a religious festival. On the way, Socrates met few of his acquaintances. They are Glucon, Adimanthus, Polymarchus and Polymarchus' aging father, Syphilis. Socrates and the old man Syphilis started discussing about various things and when the subject matter turns to the topic of justice. Syphilis, a very rich and well-reputed elderly of the society and the city, is the host of the group and is the first to offer a definition of justice. According to Syphilis, justice means living up to your legal obligations and being honest. Socrates first listened to the Syphilis's argument then he defy his argument with a counterexample. He puts on an example of returning weapon to a madman. You may return a weapon to a madman who is its rightful owner, but would that action be a just action? Or by doing so, you will put the lives of others in stake. So Syphilis's definition has some flaws within it. Then. Polymerchus, Syphilis's son, takes over the argument. He leaves out yet another definition of justice and according to his definition, justice is doing good to your friends and harm to your enemies. To which Socrates totally disagree and argues that we may not know your friend is the most virtuous man or not or your enemy is the worst of the society. Your friends may be a bad person and your enemy may not be so bad of a person that you think he is. So by doing good to a bad man, you'll do not only bad for the society but for also yourself. And by doing bad to a good man, you will harm the society as well as your own judgment. And also, harming anyone can never be regarded as doing justice anyways. So, Polymerges' definition is also ruled out. Now, much agitated with all the eliminations of the arguments of both Syphilis and Polymerges, Thrasymachus, the sophist, breaks into the discussion and declares that he has a better definition of justice. Thrasymachus claims that it does not pay to be just. Just behavior works to the advantage of other people, not to the person who behaves justly. Also, the unjust people always reign high up in the society and enjoys all the luxuries of the society, while the just people stays where they are and they never get their desired or their legal positions or the positions they were destined to be. So it is not at all beneficial to be just. 
it is rather beneficial to be unjust. Now the discussion suddenly shifted from merely the definition of justice to why should a man be just. By hearing the argument of Thrasymachus, Socrates first refutes a little, but in order to bring about the goods of the justice, he declares to Thrasymachus that justice is virtue and wisdom, while injustice is vice and ignorance. And so, by doing just, you do good not only the society, but also to yourself. And by being injustice, you not only harm the society, but your own conscience also. Though the last argument may not be as strong or prominent as the first two arguments with syphilis and polymerchosis, but that is how the book one of the Republic came to a closure with an open end for the readers to discuss and put on their own reason of what is justice and why should a man be a just man. That's it for today. In today's video, we talked about Plato's The Republic, which is the foundation stone for all the other literary criticism that are to come. So go to the comment section below and tell me how do you like the video and give me your questions, queries or suggestions there as well. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe the channel and share the video with all your friends. Come back every Friday because I post videos every Friday. So I'll see you on the next video with such other important topics. Till then, stay healthy and stay safe. Thank you.